Laura Secord is developing and hosting an art battle, which is essentially a giant celebration of the visual arts. Um, and what that entails is live action, high speed, spontaneous creative painting on the spot by teams of students from across the board. Students arrived early in the morning and actually came in blind to the competition that was in front of them. They were asked to fill out prompt slips. Um, and the theme of this year's uh, art battle is juxtapose. So the idea behind juxtapose is the pairing or meaning of objects forced together in a new and interesting way. So all of these prompts that students were filling out, they were asked to select five. Of those five, they were to select three of those five prompts and use those words to feature prominently in an original composition for their painting. Juxtaposition would be contrasting elements in a work of art. When I think of that as a theme, it could be juxtaposing subject matters, objects that are in the work of art, the materials that were used, the approaches that were taken by the students. I'm curious to see how the students themselves interpreted that theme because different people could have a different meaning and interpretation of juxtapose. Kenzie Kruchuk, a grade 11 student at Secord, was one of the participants in the art battle. We got ice cube, book, um, we got orangutan, toaster and pond and we were really stumped when we got toaster and orangutan due to the contrast between the other prompts that we picked. So we chose pond, ice cube and book because we chose that those were more like prompts that could go well together in a painting and orangutan and toaster seemed a little out of place for the ideas that we came up with. Ice and pond kind of go hand in hand because it's water. So we decided to, um, we started off with having a book as a base for one of them. So we originally thought of an ice cube melting onto the book and going onto the canvas. But um, we ended up going with a Renaissance style portrait with an ice cube as the face to give in to the surrealism that we wanted. Um, and it was melting onto the book that held the puddle, which was the pond. The criteria for the art battle was created by the students with the guidance of the judges. First, I'll be listening to what they have to share with me, what their criteria were that they came up with, and then I may ask them some questions as to why they came up with those criteria, and then also look at the works that they completed and, and ask them how they see those criteria unfolding in the works that they created. That's how I'm going to approach it. The long-term goal is actually to, again, just celebrate and really promote the visual arts. Um, we have students on site here sh shooting a promotional video. We've got our yearbook photographers here. Um, we, we do have media coverage tying in those journalism and those Comtech students as well. But ultimately, we want to push and celebrate the arts. So the next year that we do Art Battle, and the year after, and the year after, this is all going to be student planned, student curated, student judged, student focused. It's, it's really all about the students going forwards. With over 150 plus students that were in attendance at the Art Battle hosted by Laura Secord, the works of art that were showcased were nothing short of amazing. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.